everyone. Today I'm going to try to give you a few clues on how to set up your Gorg Micro X uh, synthesizer uh, within your Logic Pro um, sequencer. Okay, uh, it is something that it's documented in many places, but I have not been able to find a multi-use instrument defined for the Gorg Micro X. Uh, so I've decided to create one and uh, document a little bit the process uh, so that you can download it and use it and at the same time maybe learn how to do it yourselves in the next time or if you do any changes to the synthesizer because you will need to be updating the multi-instrument definition within Logic Pro in order to use it. Okay. What we are going to try to be doing is first of all uh, try to set all these uh, well, rather, these programs, I want to have all these names available within Logic so that I can change the programs from within the, the sequencer without needing to, to use the uh, editor. The, the editor is nice, but having it outside of the application seems to be a little bit of a problem, at least for me. In here, if you see within software, the Micro X editor, it says that it can run as a plugin editor in an AU VST or RTIS environment, but um, I don't know about VST or RTIS, AS, but uh, as an AU, at least right now, I don't see it working. So that's why I decided to create a multi instrument. Okay, so now let's go within Logic and let's just start at the end of it. Okay, let's just start where you will be most likely be starting in order to use the multi-instrument that I've created. What you will be doing is you will be downloading a, a Logic Pro file that, I'm, that I'll be creating and leaving there for you to download. And then you will be trying to import the layer that contains the multi-instrument within your uh, Logic files or maybe create a template if you want from it or do whatever you like. So I'll create an empty project, uh, just an external MIDI, that's all right. Okay, let's uh, clean this up a little bit. Now, I'll go to the environment, you can go through window environment. Okay, now we are in the environment and if we go to clicks and ports, you see the standard. If you go to MIDI instruments, uh, you will see a GM device that it has created by default. And what we want to create is an, another one that it's quite similar to this. Okay, so how would we go about it? So the first thing to do would be to import it. You, uh, you will have downloaded a file and you want to import the environment. So how do we do that? Okay, you would go to Options, Import Environment, and I've separated it in a layer so that it's easier. So I'll click on Layer. I know that it's in this file, but you will have to do it from the file that you download, okay? And instead of importing all objects, I've created a layer called Cork Micro X, okay? Into Project Untitled. And here it is. So as you can see, it has imported the layer. It's Cork Micro X. Uh, as you see, it's a new layer. We didn't have it before. And it has imported this multi instrument, okay? What you would do to use it, in order to use it, is create a new, create a new uh, instrument, external MIDI. In here, you say reassign track, Quark Micro X. That's the layer. Sorry. So that's the layer. Reassign track, Quark Micro X. That's the layer. And now this is the multi instrument, and these are the ports. Well, the MIDI. Uh, ports that are defined right now. I have only three activated, but you will be able to activate as many as you want Okay, so I'll take any of them that one will do select now From here whichever instrument you you want to use and that should work What other options are there and, and why I've decided to go with this one and how do I set up? I will explain later, but what other options are there? Well, you can create an external instrument, once this is defined, you could have created, imagine you could have created, let's go back to the environment. Uh, I'll select this other guy, the MIDI instrument that came by default. Okay, this one. So within here, I could have just said, 
okay, uh, send this instead of to all ports, send it to my micro X sound. And this appears in this way because I have it connected with the USB cable, okay? The USB cable defines directly this channel and, and I mean this port and through that port it communicates with the USB cable with my micro X uh, synthesizer. <laughs> now, just by doing this, I could be using this instrument uh, with the uh, with the micro X, and I, but of course it will show only these um, bank names because there is nothing else defined. And what is worse, uh, whatever changes I do here, they won't happen within the micro X because the bank messages what the system sends to understand that there is a change in the program uh, are not understood in this way by the micro X. But the, uh, just with this and a little help from the uh, instrument editor we could we could already work. All right now as I said I usually try to work in multi because that allows me to use several sounds at the same time if I want. Okay, so normally uh, you would come this way, select uh, uh, an instrument, okay, and in here I have this instrument selected on channel one, and uh, it's playing there. If you wanted, you could uh, create a, a software instrument just with that output. Um, I would I will create a single instrument. Then instead of this plugin, normally if we would have those AU uh, that the uh, manual said we would have, you could just set it up here and that would work. So that won't do. But what you can do is use the default external instrument. Now with this external in instrument, you can select uh, the, it's called GM device, but uh, I mean it doesn't matter. You could select whichever. Uh, because right now they are vo both directed to port uh, to the port uh, that communicates with the cork. Okay, so you could do it like this, and then say, okay, this comes in channels one and two because that's how I have it plugged into my audio interface. But the problem with this is <clears throat> I depend on setting up the instruments correctly here, and if I don't save this layout of instruments, which I normally do, uh, if you don't do that. The next time you, you, you access here, it might have all the instruments changed. What else can you do about that? Well, you could uh, just move this forward and try to record here the uh, SISX um, um, message by doing a program change. So that way, next time it plays, the first thing it will do will be to set up that program change, which is I've changed it to, uh, to drums, okay. I just use the multi-instrument that I have created here, okay. So you can activate as many as you want. Once you do this, um, let's go to uh, combat. You, everyone knows this song. I don't know if, I've, if I'm in the right channel, let's go back to First screen combat. As you can see, it has automatically updated this. Now, what other tricks do I use when recording these kind of things? I, I usually try to remove all the FX, the RPG, ar arpeggiator, and all the reverb and everything. I try to remove them because I want to be recording dry, and after that, I will be applying the effects within Logic Audio, okay? All right, so as you can see, that's how it works. It's really simple. Now you just need to create more uh, external MIDI instruments, make sure that they are assigned to the core microgs, and select a different channel. Now this is channel two, okay? Now the, the thing to, that you might want to know is how to set it up next time for your own instruments. So the, the thing to do uh, is to check your um, MIDI definitions, all right? Now, this is a little bit complex. Even if you're used to, to, 
to these kind of things, uh, it, it takes a little while to find yourself within this uh, messy kind of document, but it has all the information. So if you can navigate through it, you will get a lot of, of information. So here it is, okay? This is where it talks about how does it change programs. It gives you two sets of messages, okay? And depending on how you have configured your, your uh, cork microbes, it will work. You will need to set it in one way, one way or, or another. And you need to know this because else it won't work within logic. I usually have it set up with bank map is GM. Okay, because that's the default, and that's how I have maintained it. That's the default within the Korg microbes. So within the Korg, you will see, uh, if you go to system preference in the second page, you will see that it says bank map, it says GM. You can change it to Korg or to GM. And depending on that, the message that it uses is different. Okay, so 3F and then 00010203. Anyway, so how do I map this in logic? Well, logic lets you change the custom bank messages. First of all, if you come here, you will see that there are bank messages defined for all sorts of different machines, but regrettably, you don't have the core. Okay, so how do we go about this? So you right click on the instrument and you go to define custom bank messages. All right. And in here, if we go to define custom bank messages, this is this is what I what I what I'm doing exactly as it says as it says here. All right. So 3F Zero 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 one zero two zero three, and if we go to logic, so three F is the sixty three, and then you have on the LSB, you do it with the thirty two says that it's LSB zero says that it's MSB. It's couple of of is these two make up a, a message, okay? So. It's 63, which is the 3F that I'm talking about here. And then as the uh, LSB 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, excuse me, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 79, 78, which correspond to 121 and 120. Okay. So that defines the messages. Okay, so as you can see, they are in couples, and with that you do it. And then well, the other part that you need to set up is the whole list of, of, of names. And I have to go through a copy and paste and then some automation in Vim to make um, a short list. What I do is to just copy that, and in here you go to the correct bank. So. Uh, this would be A, this would be B, and in options you say paste all names. Okay, so that really uh, shows you how to create your instrument, your multi-instrument defined with all the names and with everything so that the uh, sequencer understands and talks the same language as the synthesizer, sorry, and uh, you can just use the same names and everything to uh, create your songs. There you go. Okay, I hope this has helped you some and that it has made your life a little bit easier. Um, I'll leave the files for you to download. As you know, uh, you only have to import the layer and get the instrument, uh, the multi-instrument to use it. I just wanted to add a little bit more of background so that you know how to create your own if you need it. Thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.